It's the latest chapter of Mali's evolving political crisis. The Economic Community of West African States, or ECOWAS, suspended the country from its institutions and called on its interim military rulers to nominate a new civilian leader immediately. This after Mali saw its second coup in nine months. I'm thus using this opportunity to reiterate, on behalf of ECOWAS, our continued commitment to the peaceful transition in Mali with a basic goal of restoring democratic government and working for the stability of Mali and of our region. The ECOWAS delegation held talks with Mali's interim leader, Asimi Goita, over the weekend and in a statement released on Sunday said the country must honour a commitment to hold a presidential election next February. Goita seized power a week ago after soldiers detained the transitional president and prime minister, releasing them on Thursday while saying they had resigned. The officers had been appointed following an August 2020 coup also led by Goita, toppling democratically elected president Ibrahim Boubacar Keita. This isn't the first time ECOWAS has suspended Mali from the bloc. The measure was taken after another military coup in 2012, while last year's ousting of Keita prompted the bloc to impose sanctions, including border closures and a ban on commercial trade. The measures were lifted in October, but threats loom of further sanctions, including from the United States and former colonial power France.